Cynthia Williams has resigned from her position. Well, or at least that's what they want to tell us. Um, this is a, a huge, huge moment for Magic going forward. It, it means that the company as a whole has seen the error of their ways in, in some sort of extent, whether it be overprinting, selling through Amazon, overdoing it with the secret layers, too many variants. They know something's wrong and they're trying to fix it. And I want to discuss it in this video. Let's get into it. So guys, I got to be honest with you. I wasn't planning on recording today. As you can see, I'm on my couch. I'm actually in the process of packing. We're going to the Dominican Republic tomorrow for about five days. So if you don't see me uploading, that would be why. Maybe we'll do a little something, but let's get onto the major subject. So today, Cynthia Williams, holy shit, resigned from her position effective, what was it, the 26th or the 24th? So essentially next week, she is leaving and they haven't found a successor, which means, I think we all know what this means. This probably wasn't a resignation. This is probably something so she could keep her good reputation. And this is more of a, please leave. <laughs> um, one very interesting thing that, that uh, was in that very, very short report that she was, uh, that she was gonna be resigning was that they are looking internally or externally for a replacement but they mentioned that they might hire from within, which is huge. It's a huge thing for this game going forward, and you will see it. Um, if they get somebody who actually knows what they're talking about and actually knows the game they're trying to sell, not just somebody who's, you know, you know, used to work for Microsoft and used to work for all these, like, cigarette companies, you know. It, Magic's more than just a video game, and you monetize these things very differently. Obviously, you can't put a ton of product in the market, or else we'll get what happened in 2021 and 2022, right? And we're going to get all the Amazon dumps, everything like that. It's going to go crazy. And finally, somebody saw that this was an issue, whether it be, I don't know, Chris Cox, whether it be their board of directors. Somebody saw something. Somebody saw something in the way she was managing Watsi that was just no longer acceptable. Um, there's no scenario in my head where she's just like, yeah, I think I'm gonna quit. I, I really don't think that's that's how it was. I think that's how a lot of people are gonna view it. So my you know my opinion there isn't too who, too different from probably the mainstream, but it's a, it's a crazy moment for Magic. Will we see anything crazy immediately? No. We already know what's coming in Modern Horizons. We already know what's coming in Bloomboro. Um, but this could mean a severe pullback in print runs. Uh, maybe a cut or two of some product lines. Maybe bringing back some old product lines that people enjoyed, like Brawl Decks. Where'd those go? You know, you might... Sure, you don't get the most value in those things, but Brawl Decks were pretty cool back in the day. But I'm rambling about nonsense. It's... It's a massive moment. You already see all the major YouTubers talk about it. Rudy's already talked about it. You know, he's like, what, what, what did he say? He's like, if you overprint, you get fucked or something like that. You know, how, how Rudy talks. I've already seen a, a thumbnail for a Magic Historian video. I'm probably going to watch that after this. Um, he always gets me with those little, little clickbaity little, uh, uh, little thumbnails. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure out what he's on. That's... <laughs> Those things get me to click every friggin' time. I'm not I'm not gonna bullshit, but okay. So Moxman probably is gonna put a video out tom tomorrow about it, or maybe even tonight. I know he does his uploads, you know, usually the night before, but guys, we might see some serious, serious overhaul in the next coming months. Like I said, not in Modern Horizons, not in Bloomboro, not in the what why can't I think of the one that's after that? I, I really can't think of it. It's like, are, are they going back to Lorwyn? Is that the one where they're... I, I don't know. Somebody correct me in the comments. You know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, it's it's a big moment. And I really do think that Hasbro will be better for it. And if they hire from within and they hire somebody who actually has a passion for this game, this company is going to move in the correct direction. It's not all about making the collectors happy. It's not all about making the players happy. It's not all about making investors happy. It's about finding a happy middle ground where everybody could access the game at a reasonable price. I, hey, listen, I agree. People should, people should be able to pay for a product 
sit down, crack it open and play with it at release. That's fine. My whole thing is I want that product to accrue in value years down the road, right? And that's very difficult to do when you overprint everything, sell it, dump it on Amazon, give it this bad name, which they were doing under Cynthia Williams. And to be perfectly honest with you, it was unacceptable back then. I'm surprised Chris Cox and them and the board of directors even dealt with it for this long. But hey, you know, I guess it... It's, it's a tough thing to, I mean, it's a tough thing to see probably when you're, when you're running a company, it's gotta be, you know, public perception, you know, you're always going to hear, you know, loud voices online. I talk about that a lot. And, you know, a lot of the time I don't agree with those loud voices, but at the same time, you still have to listen to what your consumer base is saying and everything like that. And they like to say they do, you know what I mean? They like to make their posts and everything like that, but let's be honest. They would say one thing and do a completely different thing. And that is under the management of Cynthia Williams. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm sure she's a great person. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure she's a really, really nice person. But to be perfectly honest with you, I'm so, so happy she's gone. They could call it a re resignation. They could call it whatever they want. But at the end of the day, you know, a duck is a duck. A dog is a dog. She's out. She's, I mean, let's, let's be honest. Come on. Come on she got fired come on she got fired guys she got fired so a little short video today but I gotta be honest with you it's a very big moment for magic just wanted to sit and have a nice candid conversation with you guys and 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 just revel in the moment you know let's just enjoy it we're not gonna see the fruits of this for for a while but we will eventually see a shift in magic not today not a month from now not even a quarter from now. But after that, we're going to see a big shift in magic. And you could uh, you could bookmark that. All right? So if you guys if you guys want to join the channel, you know, subscribe. That'd be great. Like, dislike. Send a comment below. Let's talk more about this. It's a fun thing. I might not respond, you know, right away. Like I said, going on vacation, taking a little bit of a break. But I'm excited to come back energized and ready to put out more content. So I hope you guys have a good one. Have a great rest of your day.